Hello guys. A popular Kaduna-based Islamic cleric, Gumi, during an interview with the Punch correspondent, addressed the issue of banditry and terrorism in the country. And don't also forget, don't forget that this is not the first time he has been addressing this issue of banditry and terrorism in Nigeria. So maybe here we he get to talk this time again. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If I just join you know sabek subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up a big like us now share this video let it go viral thank you god bless you all gumi said at the moment they these guys these bandits they have stopped shouting allah halabaka allah allah uh, shouting uh, and uh, that is what we are fearing a popular Kaduna based Islamic cleric, Gumi, during an interview with the Punch correspondent, addressed the issues of banditry and terrorism in the country. Gumi was told during the interview that the rates at which the bandits and terrorists kill and kidnap Nigerians is on the increase presently, particularly in the northern region of the country, despite the federal government spending billions of naira to combat insecurity. Egumi said, no amount how costly the, the drugs you give to patients are if they are not the right ones. The patient won't get better. When he was asked if the bandits are ready to, to shape their sword, he said, the situation is now more complicated. He said, at the point, they, are, they have stopped shouting hala. Hala Kabara, and that is what we are fearing. Now they are committing the same crimes of killing, rape, and slaughter. Further talking, when we went there, they were not shouting Allah Kabara. Now they are aggrieved, and they think it is it is a, a revengeful fight. They must have been engaged by religious fanatics. This is what we feared. Nigerians have reacted. The federal government should also dialogue with armed robbers because they are young men and women. IPOP won't have been in forest if federal government has given them Western education. <laughs> Real love. Government should show love to rapists. Types of gumi and security agents should be committed to dialogue with these people and run guests to give them sense of belonging. These are our brilliant boys and girls neglected by government. Government should do this before it is too late. Government should show real love to our brilliant armed robbers instead of using police to fight them. You will agree with me that armed robbery has been on increase despite police and other security operatives weapon war against them. IPOP don't enjoy staying in forest. Government should do something to, to emulate their plight. <laughs> they should equally dialogue with hookup guests now. These reactions are, are really funny. Uh, let the country be separated if they will not stop. Do not eat their resources alone and they concentrate on this, the, the South because the greedy men in the South lack wisdom. May God Almighty reward you, Gumi, accordingly. Amen. Rewarding him for doing what? What relationship did Afa Gumi build with the bandits? Grand patron of Northern bandits, an Islamic terrorist ravaging the Northern uh, part of the nation speaking. If a terrorist waging war against a country and that particular region luckily produced presidents, for good eight years, and the president refused to bring them to zero level, and now expecting someone to do that, it is going to be very difficult task. Sincerely speaking, President Tinubu is more committed to tackling banditry than Buhari. It is evidently clear that the bandits are being crushed by the Nigerian security personnel. I have never trusted this Gumi dude. He is hiding something. He will get his reward accordingly. 
it is left for the government to respond before they become a something else in Nigeria. Uh, this is very stupid, very stupid talk. Satan incarnate. incarnate. Hmm. Uh, this man should stop glorifying the bandit. He wants to distance Nigerian army. Did I hear you saying that government must negotiate with bandits and terrorists who have raised harms against innocent Nigerians? If it is the issue of them raising arms against government, it's all they committed. Yes, you could be right, but certainly not those who kill thousands of innocent people with impunity and leave their families in perpetual agony. If you say government should negotiate with such mindless killers of innocent people, then all the armed robbers, kidnappers, criminals, murderers, ritualists, murderers, should be released from prison. And from henceforth, whosoever is arrested on above listed offense should be negotiated with by governments and let go free. For as long as they accept not to commit these crimes again without being made to fix the law or be sorted by security agencies at all costs to face the law. I believe that the reason this man is agreeing that it is easy to track the terrorists and bandits is because he has realized that the net is drawing closer to him. Hence, he is educating. Is that one way to track these terrorists is through their relatives, something he never ever said. Nigerians, uh, all is not well with this country. This is a country where we open our eyes and see things happen. And we just take it, it be like na joke. Just take it like that. You understand? It be like joke. This issue of banditry in Nigeria is supposed to be a thing of the past by now. Now, Gumi will tell us these people should be negotiate, uh, the, the government should negotiate with bandits. How? After they don't you know, wreak havoc in the country. Thousands of Nigerians, they don't send them, go meet, go die, or come, on timely dates where they don't expect. Nigerians are living in agony because of them. Then you go come see me, they negotiate with them. How? So that means, just like what they are saying, the people who have uh, 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 commented to this news, saying, ah, that means everybody when they inside prison, maybe the Nigerian government, they negotiate with them. You go go to do bad, bad things. They go come negotiate with you, clap for you for doing bad things. Then what about those people when you don't do those things, Give Everything in life get punishment. You understand? It's even in the Bible. It's even in the Quran. Anything when you do, you get punishment, you get reward. So why are you thinking that these bandits not supposed to get this punishment, all these bad, bad things when they do, do, when they do? This is really funny. I'm telling you the truth. It's funny. Make a drop out for you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. I bet share this video, make it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what